offseason, Brent, it's nice to finally get a feel for what these teams are all about. Well, Kevin, you know the hype train around the NBA never stops rolling, so this league has grown in popularity globally. Seems like another jump over the past three or four years. People get built up and torn down at such a large scale. That's such a challenge for today's players to stay focused on the task at hand. So a look at the starters for the Wizards. Sliding into the wing spots, it's Poole and Avdia. Jordan Poole. Underneath, we'll see Kuzma and Gafford. And it's Jones in at the point. Greg, it seems like the Wizards have been trying to find their edge against tough teams. Yeah, and the first question is which end does it happen on, offense or defense? Because you can win tough games by being great at either. Got to know the scouting report. You do not want Kelly Oubre to establish confidence in catch and shoot chances, knocks it down. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. Has to Embiid. And the dunk by Embiid. Well, for Tobias Harris to take this step, getting away from scoring and finding teammates to become a more adept passer, it's good signs. Now here's Jones. Dishes it to Avia. Poole on the wing. Gafford sets the pick for Poole. Misses the J after tricking the D with the nifty pass. Embiid finds Maxi from 13. That's good, and it's Embiid with the assist. Using those sidelines to find an open guy. Embiid always ready to deliver. 27 seconds left to play here in the first. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. So it's Washington now. Just five on the clock. Kuzma passes to Gaffer. And Gaffer throws it down. What a feed from Kuzma. I like when he finds the open man, and so do they. Maxi kicks to MB. Shoots over Gaffer. Off target from the baseline. At the end of one, a closer contested game so far. 76ers ahead, leading by a point. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the 76ers, what are your thoughts? Boy, that their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. They couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. Batuma's out there with Morris. Then it's Patrick Beverly. Then there's Maxi. And it's Reed in at the five. That's the group for Philadelphia to start this second quarter. And they're great at both ends, but the Sixers offense, Greg, the Sixers offense is elite. And it all starts with Joel Embiid feasting inside and at the free throw line. And his teammates reap the benefits as well with wide open shots on the brim. Beverly, the pass to Maxi. This one for three. Here's Reed. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. And a better box out saves them two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. And the short break in the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrich. Thanks, Kevin. The NBA, of course, is so loaded, it's not easy to come out on top. Joel Embiid said, for us to be able to win, we need to try to be perfect. I need to play at the highest level possible. Our shooters and defense have to do their job. It's tough, but it's fun. I guess you have to enjoy the journey as well, Kevin. Yep, the journey, right, David, is the reward. That's for sure. Dave, thanks. Batum just shrugging off contact that time. Wizards trail by three. Here's Wright. That one rolling around and runs out. With nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Kuzma gets to right. 
Let's it go from 11. Here's Bagley. And finish off by Bagley. Now this is the level of activity that you want from Marvin Bagley. Relentless tonight on the offensive glass. Batum with the three. Oh, and he oh, beat it. Did they just do that, Kevin? They just did it. What a grand finale to the half. Great shot from distance to give his team the momentum right before the buzzer. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. We're shooting the ball so well on this one. A great performance from the field. And we'll be back with you shortly. You know, right now for the Wizards, this game will help them measure who they are. Against an opponent we consider to be in the same stratosphere. All right, now it's time to talk about our featured game tonight. Not a great turnout so far for the Washington Wizards. And that's all for us. Now it's... And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. You gotta like what Nicholas Batum has done in this game. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. So the Wizards five right now. In the backcourt, it's Jones and Poole. And at the forward positions, Avdia and Kuzma. And it's Gafford in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Even in a league full of stars from afar, Avdia is a rarity. Denny, the only Israeli player in the league for the 2022-2023 season. Basketball, truly a global sport, and Denny has represented his country well. This guy is continuing to get better. Here's Embiid. Physical play by Embiid inside. And Embiid doesn't mind physical defense. In fact, he embraces attacking. Jones finds Gafford. For this three on Harris. Back to Gafford. And Gafford throws it down. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Here's Embiid. This is where Embiid wants the ball. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Gafford, and Gafford throws it down. Fundamentals, guys, using the one-hand slam. Really makes the basics look pretty exceptional. And again, it's Joel Embiid. Embiid's got 10 points. Wizards trail by five. Jones, the pass to Gaff. Now, here's Kuzma. And it's good for two. Kuzma with a little bully ball of his own here. 27 seconds left in the third quarter. Stolen by Avdia. Jones against Maxi. Kuzma kicks to Avdia. Kuzma against Maxi. Down low. Here's Gafford. Makes it off the glass. He's got 12. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. 76ers lead by one. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and, and what a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter of what is still anybody's ballgame. In at the guard spots, Maxie and Melton. The pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. And it's Oubre in the small forward. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. And so Poole will bring it up for the Wizard. It's a three-point game. 76ers shooting fantastically in this game. 62% from the floor. Here's Maxi. That's in. Coming off the assist from Embiid. Embiid's got three assists in the game. 
Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They trail by six. 121 left in the game. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in to what the head coach of the Wizards was getting across in the huddle. I begged his players to keep it simple out there. I told him one possession at a time. Don't look at the scoreboard. What's most important is running our plays and being aggressive defensively. We'll see if they can follow that game plan. Guys? Thanks, David. And Embiid gets it to go. And right there, Embiid showing he's just too big and too skilled to stop. A wide open look here for Kuzma. Misses the three. Yeah, not a fan of that one, guys. If he wants to help his team cut into this deficit, he should not be attempting those kind of shots. And really, the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Here's Washington now. Poole on the wing. No good from outside. Embiid against Gafford. Embiid, the pass to Harris, and he makes good on the way. Harris has got the lead up to 10 now for the 76ers. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. To the paint. And the pass to Maxi. Slam dunk by Maxi. This arena was rocking throughout the night. You, you could really feel the energy. The huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made that. Thank you for that, David. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan.